Hey everyone, so Xnerfs joined Plasticity and that's my second video. And let's just compare an Xnerf surface modeling workflow and the yeah, traditional Plasticity workflow. And let's see if there are big differences. So I have here two the, of the same examples, like kind of a, a side mirror from a car. So I just quickly redraw this sketch here from this Xnerfs tutorial, check them out. So they ex explain what this is and stuff. I've tried it already and I can really tell you that what the developer said in plastic uh, of plasticity that the input that you give in into Xnerfs is so so important because otherwise it's it's will not make really a difference. So let's here use uh, Xnerfs right to to so I really like how you can just how it's like instantly showing you what you will get. And here, so again, you have a four-sided uh, surface. So if you press quad-sided, you see it just already looks much, much cleaner. So this is fine. And now let's create here a nice transition into a hard edge. So for that, I will just create here an edge. So I will just imprint that. And now again, x -nerbs. And let's do this one here and quad sided because we have four sides and here we want to give g2 and here it's g0 right so we have this kind of a thing so let's join that and let's do the same with a, a traditional plasticity uh, patch command so i'm patching the surface imprinting an extra edge here and now let's patch this and give it here again g2 and press ok and so here on the left it's xnerbs and on the right is patch. So honestly guys, if we check that out, you see it's basically the same. So if we go here to the zebra, okay, maybe here, so the left one is xnerbs, you see the lines are a little, little bit smoother than the right lines. Okay, it's, the left one is objectively better. But guys, again, so again, I'm a super noob, when it comes to Xnerbs, I'm just getting into that and, and learning, right? And I'm also like not in a, a manufacturer expert working at Porsche. So maybe I'm super wrong, might be. But just if you are doing that as a hobby or just for product rendering and you don't work or you have to work super professionally, Guys, look, even with this reflection method, it's it's basically the same. And especially if you're not in a super professional environment, I still think that the, the normal plasticity, uh, plasticity patch is amazing. Again, I might be super wrong and maybe this example is not the best one. And maybe I, the inputs of what I've set up is not perfect, right? Might be, I don't know. But again, so... Yeah, let's maybe go here to the next example. So again, we just uh, xnerbs that here and quad sided. And this hole we will close also with xnerbs. So just, <laughs> it's really fun how this behaves. Um, quad sided and let's give it G2. So press OK and let's join that. And yeah, that looks beautiful. So let's, and now we will loft it and not patch or xnerb it. So we will just use a normal loft as we would usually do. And let's join and let, now let's compare with the lines. And yeah, again, so here you see, yes, the left one is, <laughs> yes. Okay, here you see it's definitely the left one xnerbs. Yeah, look at the lines. It's very much cleaner and the right one, so especially here, you see, aha, okay, so, okay, that's interesting. So the right one, the the normal plasticity function is, okay, you see, you have everywhere in the surface a little bit like of this jagged line, and especially when it goes into the fillet, but here on the left, you see those lines are just much, much cleaner, but let's see something like here, but again, yes, the, the, the x nerves is cleaner, so I can see that. And yeah, okay, so you can see definitely here. So you see the reflection here, which is like the normal loft, is not so super clean like here. So here it's much cleaner. And 
it just means guys you know like i have some experience with surface modeling i'm by no means like a super expert i i i I never worked like in the professional industry, right? But even for me, it's like, I mean, I know that I have to set up all of the curves much better. And of course, it's, it was just a very um, quickly, I'd re I quickly redraw this example here. So what Nick said, the input is important. This is super true. But you see what I mean is just like, I have some experience with surface modeling, right? But even for me, it's it's such a advanced use case of this XNERPS. Because for most of the people of you, for 99% who's watching, who's just doing like product renderings, especially if you're just doing hobbies or like for 3D printing, or yeah, if you just use that not on the highest level, this here, the right one will be so, so enough. So I, I don't know if you know, like my product renderings, and like my portfolio and stuff, like it always you uh, looks like 97% perfect on the product renderings if you render that with Blender or Octane or something, right? But this XNERPS is going, I think, much more into like this professional production uh, workflow and stuff like that, right? But yeah, let's let's see at the bottom if we still get some. Oh, and I don't know if Nick. Now someone from the team is watching. <clears throat> Guys, honestly, this matcap here, the standard, honestly, absolute not good. <laughs> look, you have a complete black and you have complete white. The contrast, like, look, if you want to work here on the surface, you don't see anything. So please, in my opinion, take away this, this, this standard matcap. It's horrible. It's, it's, I can't use it. Yeah. But let's, close that here and do one more fillet and see what we get. And by the way, guys, let me know in the comments if you have tried out XNERPS and what your impressions are, or if you're just watching this video, what you think. So maybe I'm missing something. So let's check out this fillet here. So we will XNERP it. And give it here quad sided. Yeah, that looks, yeah, it just looks very good already. Ah, uh, I don't know. You see, we see like those lines. So again, I'm not an expert by any means. I'm, I just know that this, so even, I mean, if we would just render that with Octane or something, right? And we are not like super professionals working at Porsche. That would be so, so it's like more than enough. It's plasticity is already, already so amazing. So let's join that and let's just see if we see any difference. Okay, so again, the left one is XNERPS and the right one is plasticity. And honestly, yes, the lines look a little bit cleaner and it's just in general, yes, it is cleaner, definitely. So yeah, obviously. So the left one is XNERPS again. But if we go here, you see, it's basically, I don't know, it's, it's so, so similar. And okay, yes. Yeah, so the link, uh, the left one looks very much cleaner than the right one, definitely. So this is nice. Yes, look this. So this XNERP patch, the surface, you see, we have a very beautiful, nice reflection. But if you go to the right one, it's, it just looks a little bit messy, and you see like all of those artifacts. But again, guys, if you are modeling, for example, a car, right? And this is like then your side mirror. And then you're just doing like a product animation, like an automotive animation just for yourself. Or maybe like someone created a car concept, like a new startup, and they just want to create some automotive uh, renderings just to visualize that. But they are not like, like Porsche or Audi. This will be so, so, I mean, this, the right one, the, the, the not perfect one will be so, so much more than enough, right? So yeah, it's guys, like my honest thoughts on that. Again, I might be super wrong. Then correct me, please, yeah? And again, it's just like my second model. So of course, I'm also always learning and, and practicing and, and improving. And I'm sure that XNERPS has its use cases. So especially if you go into more complex um, patches with like more than four sides, right? Because it's, uh, it's still just four sides then I'm sure it's very uh, strong. 
But yeah, if you are just a beginner, right? And you have bought like the indie version, right? And, and now I'm pretty sure everyone will make this XNERPS tutorials and plasticity will, will promote it and all that kind of stuff. And that's good, and, uh, of course, but it's not that you, or you have, you need that. If you get your XNERPS, everything will just like a magic pill, you will get better and stuff. You see, so even I, Just the first uh, first impressions, of course, I also have to learn, right? And I'm not an expert, but it's, I don't know, it's it's nothing that, or it's it's blowing me completely away, you know? Like the, the normal patch in plasticity is already doing. Because if you watch my tutorials and my courses, right? You see that we can do like really crazy stuff with the the normal plasticity things. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward how I and we will implement XNAPS into our workflow and stuff. Leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the videos. And just let me know what you think about that. Correct me, say hope you like it, if you like it or not. And see you in one of my tutorials. Have a nice day, bye.